The next question is there on your screen. So this was the question on data interpretation. Let us see how to solve it. A dealer purchased six old refrigerators of six different companies from Quicker and sold them in the market. Given below is the data showing cost price, selling price and profit or loss percentage. Again, see this is a question on missing that uh, DIs wherein some information is not given. We will have to uh, fill in these information uh, for the question. Okay, uh, Based on the question, you will have to fill in information wherever required and get the answer. So what is the first question? Profit percentage on Godrej refrigerator is what percentage more or less than the profit percentage on uh, LG refrigerator? So solve this question and give me the answer. If any of you are able to get the answer, please let me know. So we have to take into consideration the Godrej uh, refrigerator and the LG refrigerator. Correct? So basically you have to find the uh, profit percentage of both and then compare. Correct, you have to find out the profit percentage of the Godrej refrigerator, profit percentage of the LG refrigerator and then compare both. Here the profit percentage of the LG refrigerator is already given as 14 percentage, right? If you look at the data, uh, if you look at the LG table, right, they have given profit percentage is 14. So there you need to calculate anything, its value is already given. For Godrej alone, you have to calculate the profit percentage with the cost price and the selling price, get the profit percentage and then compare these two profit percentages. So how do we solve this question? See, if you uh, look at LG, right? LG definitely they have made a profit and the profit percentage is 14 percentage which is already given. Now look at Godrej. See, Godrej selling price, okay, is 16823 and the cost price is 12462, okay? Now what will be the profit percentage uh, that he is making when he is selling Godrej? It's actually the selling price that is 16823.7 minus 12462, correct, divided by, that is the selling price, minus the cost price divided by the cost price will give you the profit percentage, correct. So this is the actual way in which you solve. Now, uh, see the numbers are very, uh, like big numbers, right, you have to subtract them, then divide them. So at this point, nothing wrong, you can uh, do uh, try and do some approximations and try to get an approximate value as to what the profit percentage will be. See, check here, here also it's definitely going to be a profit because he's buying it at 12,000, selling it for 16,800, correct, 12,400, 16,800. So when you actually uh, subtract these two, Correct, the actual value that you get. See, you have here 16,800, here you have 12,400, right? So 16,800 minus 12,400 um, will approximately be 4,400, correct? Or uh, you can take it as 4,400 or take it as 4,000, okay? Uh, and divided by 12462, correct, into 100. Again, this 12462, uh, you can take it as 12,000, right? I'm just taking approximate values. So if you do this, you actually get it as what? 4,000 by 12,000, that is 100 by 3 or approximately it is 33 percentage, right? It will be little higher than 33 percentage only because here it, it should actually be uh, 4,400 uh, some value or 4,300 and something, right? Here it should be uh, 12,462. Instead of that, I have approximated and taken 4,000 and 12,000. So I get approximately the uh, percentage of profit to be 33 percentage, right? It will definitely be little higher than that. Now, what are you supposed to find out? You are supposed to find out the uh, profit percentage, correct? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, what, what should you find out? What percent, uh, profit percentage on Godrej is what percentage more or less than the profit percentage on LG? So how do you find that out? See here he has made 14 percentage, here he has made 33 percentage, okay? Uh, so in that case, what will be the profit percentage that he has done? I mean, compared to these two, uh, what percentage is this profit more or less? See, if you take 14 percentage, if you are, uh, if it is 100 percentage, that is, what is, what is double of 14 percentage? Double of 14 percentage is 28, correct? So, and uh, now uh, 28 plus 7 is 35. Correct. So what can I say? It is actually uh, this when you compare this 14 percentage and 33 percentage, I can say that this is almost one, uh, 150 percentage of the previous one. See, if you don't understand that concept, best way to do it is like this 33 minus 14 by uh, 14 into 100. Correct. So that is what they are basically asking you for. Profit percentage on Godrej refrigerator is what percentage more or less than the profit percentage on LG refrigerator. So that is nothing but 33 minus 14 by 14 into 100 
100. You would approximately get this as 135 percentage. See, as I said, here we have taken a value as 33. It will be a little more than 33 only. Because the actual value that comes here will be close to 4,400. And this will be 12,400. So if even if you take 4,400 and 12,400, I think you will get this percentage very close to 35. Right? So I can say that if this is 35, right? Uh, if you do this, you will get this as 150 percentage more. So the correct answer is option C. Okay, since if you look at the options, there are no options which are greater than 135 and by actually by reducing and approximating, we have got 135. So logically by going with the options, it has to be 150 percentage more. Yes, because at times you would not get so much time to do these calculations if you take the exact values. So that's why I approximated and took. Okay, so you can actually take this as 4400 divided by 12400. Even very, even closer values you will get. So if you solve this, you will get the answer okay so the correct uh, answer for this is option c 150 percentage more because if you look at the percentages they are given in such a way they are spaced right see you know it is definitely not less so these two options are anyway gone you are left with three options now again it is not going to be 75 percentage more because this percentage is in terms of 30s and uh, this percentage is 14 so this is also not true you are left with these two options Okay, because I took 4000 and 12000. In that case, I get 135 percentage. But as I said, the actual values are definitely higher than that. Because if you look at the numerator, the numerator will actually be close to 4400. Right? If you take the exact value, okay. Now, if you do 16823.7 minus 142462, uh, right? The actual value that you get here will be 4361. Okay, 4361 divided by 12. Uh, 462 correct so these are the actual values that you get here so as i said when you instead of these taking these values and solving them you can approximate it as either 4400 by 12400 or take 4000 and 12000 in that case uh, you will have to uh, i mean you will have to check with the options okay i just approximated so much because the options were spaced far away but this is a better approximation to do if you want uh, more correct answer, more exact answer, 4400 by 12400. Okay, what is the ratio of the loss percentage of Toshiba refrigerator to the loss percentage of Samsung refrigerator? What is the ratio of loss percentage of Toshiba refrigerator to loss percentage of Samsung refrigerator? So, what is the loss percentage of Toshiba? See, uh, Toshiba was sold for 15,508, uh, cost price for Toshiba is 17,232. Correct. So, what is the loss percentage of Toshiba? Toshiba's loss percentage is nothing but equal to, you have to subtract these two, correct? 17232 minus 15508.8 divided by the cost price. Cost price is 17232 into 100, correct? So, actually, if you subtract this, right? Now, I am going to subtract this and see what, okay, I am going to remove this 8. Let that, let that not be there. Let us assume that it is only 17232 minus 1. 5508 at least let us remove a point so that calculation is little bit easier now when you um, subtract this what do you get 1724 correct 1724 by 17232 into 100 now what can i say here see it is see it is very close to see this is uh, if this is 1724 this is 17232 basically it is very close to 1724 into 10 is 17232 Correct. So, I can approximate and say that if I divide this, I get 10. So, this is what? This is nothing but 100 by 10 or 10 percentage loss. So, directly I can say that it is 10 percentage loss. So, what I did here was I just removed this point here and I subtracted these two. I am getting 1724. Okay. And here I am getting 17232. So, approximately this into 10, that is the numerator into 10 is giving me the denominator. So, I Take that as 10 percentage. Now, let us look at the next one. What is the next one here? You have um, Samsung, correct? Samsung refrigerator. The cost price is 11250, selling price is 9562. So, 11250 minus 9562.5, let us not take it for now, divided by 11250 into 100. So, this is going to be the loss percentage of Samsung, right? Samsung's loss percentage. Now, uh, again, if you do 11250 minus 9562, what do you get? You get 16, I think 1688. 
correct? 1688 divided by 11250 into 100. Now, what is 10 percentage of 11250? 10 percentage of 11250 is 1125, correct? Now, to get this 1168, what am I doing? I have to add, if I add um, 568, correct? 562 to this, I will get 1688, correct? So, what is this 562? Approximately, it is nothing but 1125 divided by 2. That is what is happening here. See, this is 10 percentage of 11250 and this 562 is nothing but 5 percentage of 11250. So, if you see what percentage of 11250 is 1688, it is approximately 15 percentage. So, I can take this as 15 percentage loss. So, what is the ratio that I am looking at? The ratio that I am looking at is 10 by 15 or that is equal to 2 by 3. So, the answer here is option D. Okay. See, these are uh, minor uh, splitting of percentages that I am trying out because otherwise these calculations might uh, take time. If you know a better method, please follow your own method. This is the way I have done it, okay? 11250, I just split it and took it. Just to see what percentage, approximately what percentage of uh, 11250 will be 1688. So, the correct answer is 2 is to 3. Yes. If there have been a profit of 24 percentage on Videocon refrigerator instead of 24 percentage loss, then the new selling price is how much more than the original selling price? Okay, so here we are talking about only one refrigerator. Okay, and actually in Videocon there has been a 24 percentage loss. Now they are saying if it was a profit of 24 percentage, then how much more was the original selling price? See, for this question, let us see how to solve it. Now. What is happening here? Earlier there was a selling price. Let us take it as the old selling price. Okay, what is the old selling price? Uh, which is the company we are looking at? Videocon. So here Videocon cost price was 14790 and there has been a loss of 24 percentage. So what was the old selling price? It is nothing but 14790 into 76 by 100. That's going to be the old selling price. Now what is the new selling price? What is the price at which he is selling now? They are saying that instead of a loss, if he had made a profit of 24 percentage, in that case, what would have been a selling price? It is nothing but 14790 into 124 by 100. Correct. Now, what are they asking? What is the difference between the new selling price and the old selling price? That is what they are asking. So, in this question, uh, the actual thing that you have to do is, see, uh, some of us have this idea that whenever we get such uh, numbers, we directly try to simplify it and get an answer here. Similarly, find out the answer here. Don't do it that way. For this particular question, what is it that they are asking you? You have to find out the new selling price minus the old selling price. That is, you have to find out 14790 into 124 by 100 minus 14790 into 76 by 100. This is what they are asking you. Do it in one step instead of solving it separately here and here and then subtracting which will consume more time. Try to do this uh, simplification in one step. So, how do you do it? It is nothing but 14790 into 124 minus 76 by 100. So, if you do it this way, it will save a lot of your time, right? You will not waste time in calculation. So, this will be 14790 into 48 by 100, correct? Solve it and get the answer. So, it is just 2 percentage less than 50. 48 percentage means uh, it is just 2 percentage less than 50. So, check with the, uh, I mean, if you so solve it also, you get the answer. Otherwise, take it in terms of percentages, 50 percentage of 14790, uh, find that out and then subtract 2 percentage from that. That is also an easier way of doing it. See, what is 50 percentage of 14, if you have 14790, 50 percentage is nothing but 14790 divided by 2, correct? So, that is equal to, how much do you get? Uh, 73 nine five correct now uh, to this uh, seven three nine five you have to subtract two percentage from it correct so two percentage is what uh, one percentage will be 147 so two percentage is going to be 147 into two so it will be actually if you subtract that you will get the answer as seven zero nine nine okay that is one way of doing it otherwise if you don't if that method doesn't click uh, multiply and get the answer but this is i think a smarter way of doing it right See, so if you do 147 into 2, right, 1 percentage is 147.9, right, so 147 into 2 will be, I think, 294, correct? Yeah, you subtract that, you will get 7099. That is the smart way to solve it. Hope it is clear. The cost price of Panasonic refrigerator is what percentage of the selling price of Videocon refrigerator? Cost price of Panasonic, we don't know, correct? 
and what is the selling price of videocon that also we don't know see all these questions all of us can solve right it is um, like very basic questions you just have to sit and multiply and add and all but the key here is in these examinations you don't have so much of time to solve these questions so you'll have to get the answer in less than one second so calculation is very very important see here in this question itself they have given you can approximate but again for such questions since the look at the percentages the percentages are very close by right 45 is there 48 is there 43 is there so when we approximate also we should try to approximate in such a way that uh, it is not too far from the uh, given values if it is very far away and we approximate sometimes we might end up getting the wrong answer also so such questions are a bit tricky the cost price of Panasonic refrigerator is what percentage the selling price of Videocon refrigerator. So let us first look at Panasonic. So Panasonic is this, correct? Selling price is this. They have a profit percentage of 24. So if the uh, cost price of uh, this uh, Panasonic refrigerator is X, X into 124 by 100 is 6026.4, correct? Because they are making a profit. So I say X into 124 by 100 is equal to 6026 or I can say the cost price, right, of Panasonic, right, that is X, uh, Panasonic, that is X is equal to 6026 into 100 by 124. I hope you knew, you got how I wrote this. See, the cost price X into the profit, correct, that is 124 by 100. X into 124 by 100 is equal to 6026 or I can say X is equal to 6026 into 100 by 124. Okay, now next let us look at the selling price. What is the selling price of which company? Videocon. Selling price of Videocon. Okay, where is the selling Videocon? Yeah, see Videocon is cost price is 14790. It is sold at a loss of 24%. Okay, so um, what is the selling price of Videocon? It is nothing but 14790 into 76 by 100. Correct? Because there is a 24 percentage loss. Now, to do this calculation faster, there is a small uh, approximation that you can do. See, uh, you, you know that, uh, again, this again a concept that you would have learnt in Speedmax. Uh, whenever you are given some percentages, right, it is always better to convert them in terms of fractions because at times you can calculate faster. Like for the previous question, when it was 50 percentage, how did I take it as? I took it as 1 by 2. 50 percentage is 1 by 2, solving it was easier. Similarly, you have 76 percentage here. Now, I don't know the exact fraction for 76 percentage, but what is 75 percentage? 75 percentage is nothing but 3 by 4. So, you can take this as 3 by 4, correct? 14790 into 3 by 4. That will be the approximate selling price of Videocon. Similarly, here you have 100 by 124. See, again, I know if it is 125 by 100, correct? This is nothing but 5 by 4 in terms of fractions. How do I say this? See, 125 and 100 both will go in 25. 5 times, 4 times. So, 5 by 4. So, this is instead of 124, if I make this 125, I can say approximately this is equal to 6026 into uh, 100 by 124 is now 4 by 4. 5. I am taking this as 5 approximated. You get this answer. So, now solving it will be easier. Correct? Now, what are they asking? Uh, what percentage of the, I mean, cost price of Panasonic is what percentage of selling price of Videocon? So, what is the percentage that they are asking you for? 6026 into 4 by 5. The answer that you get divided by this value, right? 14790 into 3 by 4. What is this? percentage correct so that is what they are asking for find out the answer so if you actually do it you will get it as 43 percentage approximately that is option c okay yes correct answer is option c you can actually take this as 14800 correct even approximate it further here you can take it as uh, 6000 and then uh, try so that you will get the answer uh, faster even if you are finding it difficulty to solve this but again without approximations solving such questions become tedious